Hi, this is a video to present you my new brush kit, the number 6, of uh, Krita brushes for Krita 2.9. To install it, you need to open the resource manager, it's in your menu, and to grab the bundle file, it's a file you can download on my website on the tutorial category. When you activate it, Krita will load all the brush. It's a single file with all the brush, pattern and texture inside. Uh, a little install note, you need to close Krita and to reopen it if you want to have the tag. I made two tags, V6 and V6 Compact. So now I will describe the brush. On the first row you have uh, all the drawing tools. There is uh, the eraser, soft and hard one, and there is a lot of pencils also. Uh, these pencils are not realistic, are not made to be very dramatic. They are good to fix actual real pencil scan, a pencil I do on Bristol paper. And uh, the four pencil presets are sorted in the order. There is the, the one a bit uh, less opaque on first, and at the end there is one bigger with bigger grainy effect. So you can play with them. I ink all my Pepper and Carrot comic with the third one and uh, I usually sketch with the two first one. The second row uh, starts with a stamp punch. Uh, it's a row for speed painting and uh, you probably are already familiar with this tool in my previous video. There is a tool with a very grainy shape and um, uh, with very expressive uh, textures. It's really done for speed painting, so blocking shapes and not be very clean. The third row is a mixed row. There is a two block inside it. Uh, the first part is a wet part with the watercolor presets. And the second part is a part with all the rakes. The fourth row is uh, with the airbrush and with the effect of color dodge. Uh, the color dodge effect is, is uh, really convenient when you do a speed painting to, to add a bit of light. I know there is painter who prefer addition or overlay. I use them all but uh, uh, when I need a quick light, I, I usually uh, apply the color dodge. So there is the experimental tool, the Alchemy one, the blending, a brush to blend colors. Uh, there is a brush, the move brush. I very like this brush to fix uh, speed painting and sketches. The rendering is not really good for fine eye drawing, like a, a painted face or like a full characters uh, with line art. So I use it only on speed painting and sketches. Uh, if you want to make something more refined, you can use Likifi, the transform effect. And the last item of this uh, row is uh, the clone tool. Next row. Uh, there is a very digital pen at first. It does a lot of glazing. It also makes a lot of muddy colors, but I like to build up uh, sketches with it sometime. And uh, after, there is a, a sort of portage of my old uh, My Paint tool. It's a, it was a test. So there is a a digital basic one with, with a lot of flow and a, a bit of hard. You need to, pre to do a lot of pressure to make it work. The third one is a mixing tool. So you can mix color with it, with rounded. And uh, after there is two knife. And the knife are not really finished. Yeah. Consider them as work in progress because I don't like really how drawing angles act in Krita. Uh, there is a lot of problem on the corner 
and but I created the preset to start to use them and maybe to improve them on the long run. And the last system of this row is a fill brush to just fill area uh, like uh, filling a big color red zone on my comic. The row after this one is a row with a, a Bristol brush with a lot of mixing. It's another experiment. I don't use it a lot, but I find it interesting. So I put it in the brush kit. And after you have four brush, a little one, orange and uh, yellow and red, uh, these brush are detail brush. I use them when I work at 100% or when I do very tiny details and I need a lot of little brush uh, with sharp rendering or with blurry rendering. So this is uh, the really detailed part. At the end, you have uh, my old uh, screen tones preset to play with textures and, and do some screen tones. I find it interesting over a sketch to make some uh, gray little dots. And then the row before the last one is the row with all the stamps or all the auto brush. Uh, it's a the first one is one for making a tree plants. It's very artificial, but it, uh, it's quick to build little uh, leaves, little uh, eevee grass, or etc. The second one does a lot of dots. The third one makes some dirt. And the second two are like splatters. They do dots. They do uh, like effect of uh, painting splashed on the canvas. The last one with a little reptilian textures is a, is a template brush. It's not a brush you can use directly like this. You just click on it and, and go to the brush editor and select a pattern. And uh, you can apply a lot of pattern with this brush. So it's a, it's a common brush to apply a lot of pattern. And the last row is a, a bit of fun. I, I never do this on the previous brush kit. So this brush, you can erase them. They are not really serious. And the three first one are what I call the impressionism brush, a bit of uh, like a Van Gogh brush. So you have a, a small one, a very dense one, and one with a little more stroke. So have fun with them. I find it interesting. I will try to do something with it. And uh, the last three ones are really experimental things and uh, really for the fun. Uh, you have, of course, my uh, old Nyan Cat brush. Uh, it wasn't working on Krita 2.8 and the developer fixed it and uh, I was very happy to, to can use it. Uh, there is a brush I call the Snake. Uh, it's horrible, sorry, but I, I find it really fun. So say, oh, it's interesting. I, I will, I will bundle it. And the last one is a is an animated sprite, a bird. It's also fun. It's even more fun if you turn the wrap around mode and uh, some symmetry and zoom out. It's amazing. So that's all for the brush kit. I hope you will enjoy it. Have fun. Uh, don't forget you can support on Patreon or follow me on YouTube and uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.